Hi everybody, it's Gemma, welcome back to Pampered Wolf. Today I'm going to be trialling out lots of new, cruelty-free, affordable makeup. So excited to try all the stuff that's laid out in front of me. Some of it is already within my collection because I couldn't pick up something that was brand new and cruelty-free. But most of it is either brand new out on the market or brand new to me. So um, let's get some of this on my face before I do. Please make sure you have liked, you have subscribed and you've hit on that notification bell so you don't miss any future uploads. I upload on Mondays, Wednesdays and Fridays at 8 p.m. London time and there's often a little sneaky extra video on a Thursday as well. I'm also on Instagram if you want to follow me on there. It's at Pampered Wolf, all lowercase, no spaces. Now this week has been not a great week. It's, it, you know, it's not been horrendous, but uh, I have been trialing out lots of different moisturizers for a best moisturizer video. And um, the other day I was walking Seth to school and all of a sudden my face started to burn and I thought, oh no. And there was no way of me washing it off because um, I was outside, nowhere near a sink. So uh, let me just show you. I mean, this is almost a week on now and uh, I've not filmed for a week because my skin has been absolutely horrendous. Let me just turn these lights down and just show you. I haven't had skin as bad as this since my acne days when I was trying to get rid of all my acne scarring. My skin just flared up absolutely everywhere and um, it's just calming down now, but um, it still itches like mad. So maybe it's not the best day to put lots of makeup on my skin, but we're gonna give it a go. I can always wash it off. I'm not doing a wear test today, by the way, because um, I need to be able to get this off my skin after I've filmed. Okay, so the first product I'm gonna be trialing out is from e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. Putty Eye Primer and um, it's a creamy product, which I really like a creamy product. This one though is, I mean, it's rock solid, really is rock solid. I thought it would be a little bit smoother or a little bit softer than this, but you know, we're gonna try and work with it. Hardly any comes off on your finger because it is so hard. It's a very waxy product. I'm gonna make the best of it and see whether it actually is Good. So I'm gonna pop this on with my finger. Maybe I should be using a brush. I'll use a brush on the other eye. It's nice. I guess because of the consistency, I am feeling like I'm tugging a little bit on my eye. But there's, it's definitely covered up my pigmentation on my eyelids. Let me just try it with a brush. Yeah, I think that actually might be better applying it with a brush rather than applying it with my fingers. You can get in all those nooks and crannies as well with a brush. My fingers are a little chunky to get in all the nooks and crannies of my eyes now. I'm not sure I actually like the consistency or the feel on my eyelids. It feels quite a heavy product, but again, that might be the way that I'm actually applying it. So we'll see how it performs when the eyeshadow's on top of it. It's definitely canceled out all of the pigmentation on my eyelids, which for me, I really, really like, but it's just very, very, very stiff and waxy. I don't know. It works. It works. We'll roll with it. So the eyeshadow palette I'm going to be using today is from NYX. This is the NYX Matchy Matchy Monochromatic Palette. And it's really, really beautiful. Got some lovely cool tones in there, which I really, really love. And also on this side, you've got a highlighter. And on the other side, there is a blush as well. So I would use all of these on my eye. I think they're absolutely beautiful. All six eyeshadow shades are mattes, which makes me extremely happy. And then if you want a little bit more of a chrome foil on the lid, you can use the highlighter. It's meant to be a highlighter, but you can use it as absolutely anything. And I also really like this shade as well, which is supposed to be a blush, but you can use it as absolutely anything. So I may put that on the lid today. Let me get a brush 
I'm firstly going to go into this shade here, which is a beautiful creamy grey. This picks up a lot of product. I've not used these yet, so uh, this is definitely a first impressions. And I'm just going to pad that on the lid. Look, my face is flaring up already just with the skincare products that I've added on today. <laughs> Oh, well, never mind. I've tried out hundreds of products for everybody and this is the first time this has happened, so I guess I'm quite lucky. My face doesn't like me at the moment. So these are really, really beautiful. It's like powdery, but it's more of a creamy texture. It's very, very odd. They're blending out really beautifully. They are sticking to the eyeshadow primer really, really well. In fact, this eyeshadow primer is making this color far more intense. So that is good. So I'm just gonna leave that shade like that and just buff out this edge just a little. really pretty really really pretty then i'm gonna go and um, warm it up slightly this is a slightly warmer shade so i'm gonna pop the same brush into that this one is my refa 15 brush uh, i'm just going to plonk a bit of that down these are really nice shadows if you like matte shadows and you're wanting something a little bit cooler and multi-purpose. I mean, you can use these on the cheeks, you can use these on the eyes, really, really beautiful. At the moment, having only tried a couple of the shades, I really recommend it. Let's use some of the shade that's supposed to be highlighter and pop that on the lid. Wow. Now that is really adhering to the e.l.f. putty eye primer that is that is intense <laughs> really really intense hmm a little more intense than I was imagining that was going to be so I am going to just go around the edges and just buff that out a little bit so once I've done that, I'm going to take my Refer number no. 3 brush and go into this very deep grey toned colour. And I'm just going to go just above the lash line, just to create a little bit of soft liner. Really pretty. I'm going to go ahead and do the other eye and I'll be right back. Okay, so both eyes are the same. I'm gonna move on to foundation. The foundation that I'm gonna use is one of the brand new ones that I reviewed on my channel not so long ago, and it's by XX Revolution. And I think this is the double fix. It doesn't actually say on the product what it is, which is useful, but I think, I think it's the double fix. This is the shade FX 4.5. I'm not gonna go on about this foundation because I've done a full blown review on it. I will link it up here for you to watch. I'm gonna whiz through the application of this and I'll be right back. Okay, so it looks really flattering on my skin, very smoothing. This dried down very, very quickly. I really enjoyed the application method of the sponge. I think it looks extremely smooth and airbrushed, even though I have a lot more texture on my skin than I did in the original video. I'm gonna pop on some concealer. This is the Milani Conceal and Perfect, and my camera has chosen now to stop focusing in on products, which is really annoying, but we're gonna roll with it. These things happen. Anyway, this is in the shade 105, which is Ivory Rose and I'm gonna pop this on the back of my hand. I'm not gonna apply it directly underneath my eye because this is quite full coverage and um, you can quite easily apply too much. And then it's rather difficult to get rid of it. Pop a little bit there, pop a little bit on the outer corner and I'm just cleaning up the edge 
of the eyeshadow and then buffing that down. Then I'm going to take some of my number seven perfect light loose powder and just dust that with a very small brush underneath the eye. Just knock off the excess. Funny faces, everyone, funny faces. Okay, so let's move on to brows. I have a brand new brow product from NYX. This is the NYX Dip, Shape and Go and uh, super excited to get some of this on because if you are a regular to my channel, you will know that my ride or die is the NYX Micro Brow Pencil in Ash Brown. So I've got this in Ash Brown as well. This looks a little bit like a mascara tube on one end, you can twist it. There is the product. This is the pomade that you get. And then on the other end, you get another twisty off bit. You get a little spoolie on one end and then an application brush on the other. So um, really useful, really nifty. You can put this in your handbag and just do your brows wherever you want to, I guess. So I'm gonna use the spoolie just to brush through my brows and get them more or less where I want them. And then I'm gonna take off the applicator a little bit. So use this little brush and take the pomade out and dip this in. So I'm just gonna take off any excess and pop it on the back of my hand. That looks very dark. That does not look like the shade that I usually pop on my brows. That is, um, hmm, it's very dark. Okay, so this is quite a chunky brush for eyebrows, but I'm gonna try and use this one just the way I would normally do on the bottom, just to, outline that bottom edge. Okay. Okay. Hmm. Okay. I want to be nice. Obviously I've only done two lines on my brows so far, so I can't form a massive opinion but on first application, it's a little patchy. There are places where it's really dark and there are places that it's not. And um, that's a little bit concerning for me. It's very dark. It's dark. It's going on so patchily, as you can see, really dark bit, really light bit can't make up its mind. I'm getting frustrated. Okay, so let's just take up a little more product and uh, try and feather it in a little at the front. Okay, I'm going to take my spoolie, which you know is what it's here for, brush through just to try and soften everything a little bit. This is a bit of a flop for me. Can anybody tell? I don't like this product, which is even worse because I was so looking forward to using it anyway. It is what it is. Okay, so I think I've managed to salvage them slightly. It was not an easy product to use. The pomade dries very, very quickly, which a lot of pomades do. I'm not complaining about that, but it does apply quite patchily, so you have to do a lot of fixing jobs rather than it just being really smooth to apply. So that is one thing that I haven't enjoyed applying today. I'm just popping some of the NYX um, Bear With Me Brow Setter on, which is another one of my Ride or Dies. Absolutely fantastic products. And the pomade is now bleeding everywhere. <laughs> this hasn't been a good day, everyone. Oh dear. Anyway, never mind. They're only brows. 
So let's use a product now that I really, really like. We're gonna finish off the eye look with the Matchy Matchy Monochromatic Palette. And once again, I'm just gonna go into this shade with my Refa 13 brush and just drag that on the outer corner. This is the first shade that we applied. Really, really nice. Then once again, I'm gonna take the Refa number three brush and go into this gray shade here and just apply a tiny bit to the outer edge. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of mascara on the lashes and unfortunately I don't have a brand new cruelty-free affordable mascara to apply. So I'm just gonna pop a little bit of the Fenty mascara on and hope that you will forgive me that this is not new and it's also not really affordable, but it's cracking all the same. Okay, so I don't actually have a brand new affordable cruelty-free bronzer, so I'm gonna be using my bronzer from The Body Shop. This is the Honey Bronzer in the shade 03. It's such a lovely product. As you can see, I have hit pan on this product, so I think it's really, really good. The Body Shop have now confirmed that they no longer sell their products in China, which is a major issue. A lot of companies do sell out to China, like Physicians Formula, like Wet n Wild, and you cannot be classed as cruelty-free if you sell your products in China. It's just, just can't happen. So I'm gonna apply this just to my hairline. By the way, my hair isn't greasy. Oh, <laughs> I have just washed it, so that's why it's wet and tied up. Didn't want you thinking that I'd completely let myself go during the lockdown. Although I have on the odd day or two. <laughs> so just a tiny bit of that. This is such a beautiful shade. It's not too intense. It's just really, really beautiful and just adds that little bit of glow without being orange at all. Okay, so let's move on to something new. These are the monochromatic multi sticks from e.l.f. You can use these on the eyes, you can use these on the lips, you can use them on the cheeks. I'm gonna use them on the cheeks today. I'm gonna show you the shades that I've got. This one is Dazzling Peony. Just a twist up base. So this one is Dazzling Peony, really beautiful pinky shade. I'm sorry if that is not in focus there. Having a real issue with my camera not wanting to play today. <laughs> anyway, this is slightly petrally. It definitely does have a shimmer, but the shimmer isn't overly noticeable on the pink. It's more of a petrally type finish. Really, really pretty. This one is Glimmering Guava and it's much more peachy. Very, very intense pigmentation and you can definitely see flecks of gold glitter in here. This one really reminds me of my cream blush from Chanel in the shade Blush number 24. Let's have a look at those side by side. They're not identical colors and this one is more of a matte formula with a shimmer in rather than a shimmering formula with a shimmer in, but they are very, very similar. So I'm just going to dab this on with my finger because it is seriously, seriously pigmented just where I want that and then blend that out with a sponge. See how that goes on? No, probably blend it out with my fingers will be better. This is super, super pigmented. Bit more difficult than I imagined to actually blend that out. So let's try that a different way. Oh, this is so, so pretty. Really, really, really pretty. Just a beautiful sheen. Gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. I'm just going to keep on 
dabbing this on to build up the colour very, very slowly. And I'm just going to go up here to the temples and just add a bit of colour there as well. This has brought this entire face to life. I now look alive. It's very girly, very, very youthful and glowy. I love it. Absolutely love it. Oh, yes. Okay, so let's go for some brand new lip products. These are from NYX and they are called the Dazed and Diffused Blurring Lipsticks. I've gone for a couple of shades in this. One is more of a neutral brown and the other one is a really beautiful pink. They are called Roller Disco, which is the pink, and Girls Trip, which is the neutral brown. Let me show you these shades. I'm going to go for the neutral brown today because I've got a red top on and I don't think the pink would really go, but um, I'm going to show you these shades anyway. Okay, so here is Roller Disco. It's really bright, it's really beautiful. It's a lovely dusky pink colour. And then here is more of the neutral brown shade. It's actually deeper than I thought it was going to be, but we're gonna use this one today. And then they have a little brush on the other end to feather the product into the lip. So you actually aren't supposed to apply this absolutely everywhere, although you can. You can do the outline and then feather it into the middle for more of an ombre look, but... Um, I'll probably do that to begin with and then apply it all over the lip anyway. So this is seriously pigmented, definitely, definitely pigmented. For a pencil, it's extremely creamy. So once I've got my outline, then I'm gonna take the brush end and just feather that in. This is really, really pretty and it actually softens the colour very nicely. It also pushes it into the lip, a little bit like applying your cream lipsticks with a brush. They just tend to last a little bit longer. I haven't really mastered the ombre look here. I've just diffused it a little bit, but I like the overall look. I like the product. I like the consistency. It's very creamy. doesn't feel drying on the lip and it's really been pushed into the lip with the brush. So um, I'm hoping that's going to last quite a long time. This is a little bit deeper in shade than I thought it was going to be from the images online, but I like it all the same, but it is definitely something to bear in mind if you're choosing your shade online. So that's it. That's the finished look for today. I hope you like it. Do let me know what you thought about it in the comment section below. Some absolutely great products. Really love the NYX new eye product. Also really love the e.l.f. monochromatic multi sticks. I will definitely be using these again. And also really like the NYX dazed and diffused lip product as well. There are obviously some duds in this video, which we will gloss over and forget about and never mention again. Anyway, I really hope you've enjoyed this video. Hope to see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.